I like the lights fading in and out. Ooh. Okay. Ooh. Yo, these fits, man. These leather fits are unreal. <laughs> Hello everyone, what is going on? My name is the Newbie Warrior and welcome back to my K-Pop Reaction Channel and today we got something, uh, we're, we're pretty late on this, well, like a couple days late, let's see, the 27th, okay, like a week late, <laughs> like a week late on this, um, I've never checked out majors before, um, they're under ANS, which kind of made me hesitant to check them out, um, just because they're label, it's not their fault. Um, but uh, here's what I know about majors. Uh, I know that Beyond is incredibly, unreasonably, ridiculously attractive, and I'm addicted to her TikTok. Independent of knowing she was a K-pop idol, look, my TikTok is uh, has been curated to be mostly either idol groups that I follow or. Korean, Korean, attractive Korean girls dancing and doing t TikTok trends. Say what you want. Uh, there's some memes in there too, but say what you want. That's that's what I've curated my TikTok to be. Okay, that's the content I seek out. Groups I follow, attractive Korean girls doing trends. Okay, that is what it is. So having no idea who majors were, having no idea Beyond was an idol. Uh, I ended up following her TikTok, and now I frequently check her TikTok, and she posts great TikToks. Um, and then somebody in my Discord sent me one of her TikToks and was like, hey, this girl from a new goo group, and I was like, I know her, I follow her, but I didn't know she was even a K-pop idol. So, all of that being said, I, I mostly know who this group is because Beyond. <laughs> because I'm a Beyond simp. Um, but I don't actually know any of the other members. I've not heard any songs from them, I don't believe. Um, and they just had a double comeback. I guess apparently this is their thing. They just dropped two MVs with, like, at the same time, on the same day when they come back. Um, which at first I was kind of, I don't know, like, what? Um, but it turns out that kind of, if we're going to do this weird thing... Where we have all these groups only at least debuting with singles and like one B side. I guess I prefer two MVs to one MV. I, I mean, I prefer they're staggered out, but whatever. Other thing I know is that they are all ridiculously, stupidly attractive. Like, gorgeous. Like, even for idols, these teaser picks, holy. Um, so, yeah, we're gonna take a brief look at the K profile, then we're gonna do these two MVs. So, sorry I'm late, but. The debut, uh, Majors is a girl group under ANS Entertainment, consists of Aida, Vita, Aki, Bion, Suzy, and Shinye. All kind of short stage names, which is interesting, like, two syllables at the most, which is interesting. Um, at the most, they're all two syllables. Anyway, um, they debuted March 9th, 2021, um... Their fandom name is MVP, Most Valuable Player, which is fun. Official greetings, spit it out, hello, we are majors. I like their logo. Uh, Ida, like I said, visuals go crazy on all of them. Uh, she's the leader, sub-vocalist, born May 19th, 2000. Um, Vita, also gorgeous. Uh, birth name, Kim Jimin. Born February 3rd, 2000, main rapper, lead dancer. Uh, and then we have Aki. A Aki? Yeah, I think it's Aki. Uh, birth name, Chong Minju. Uh, born February 12th, 2001, lead rapper, lead dancer, sub vocalist. And then we have Beyond, who is my contact point with this group. Uh, just look at this woman. <laughs> look at her. Um, Birth name, Yu Juan, uh, born February 13th, 2001, position, main vocalist, main dancer, and yes, for TikTok, I would recommend following it, if you do not. <laughs> if you do not. Um, Suzy, uh, 
Suji, Suji. Uh, birth name Kim Suji. Born June third, two thousand and one. Leader sub vocalist. And then last we have the absolutely ridiculously pretty Mangne Shinye. Uh, her birth name is Gam 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 Yerim. Gam Yerim, I think. Gam Yerim. Um. Dude, her eyes are so big. She's so pretty. She was born March 7th, 2004, so she just turned 19 Korean age, or 18 international age, like last month. So, happy late birthday. Um, she's the main vocalist. Yeah, it was interesting with the Maknae's main vocalist and Maknae. So, yeah, not going to go through everything. Um, but uh, I'm excited to check out, like I said, my first two major songs. So, let's go. Let's go, let's go. Do we have subs? No, we don't. But it is 4K. Open your eyes up to the skies On cold and darkest nights Okay. We reach out to the singing stars Or still lies for you and me Okay. Kind of a spicy EDM sound maybe so far? I like the lights fading in and out. Ooh! This descending, uh... That's nice. I think that's a sim. It could be vocals, though. Okay? Yo, it's kind of a club banger! Kind of a club banger! Beyond center, I can't breathe, the choker, the purple hair, the legs, I can't breathe. Interesting the footwork. It's almost like, um... Yeah, that's, that's really interesting. Woo! Uh, also, I saw that there were some pretty notable producers attached to this. Well, I don't know if it was this song or the other song. She is gorgeous. I don't remember who that was with the red hair. But her styling's my favorite here. That's cool. Like one person on each side with the legs up and then like the formation behind. Okay. Yeah, like, I don't know. Something about this footwork isn't very what I would think of as K-pop footwork or idol footwork. I don't know why or what that means. <laughs> it's just a thing I feel. This is a this is a fun song though. I um I listen to a lot of electronic music outside of K-pop. So I always like whenever there's an idol group that either one member lends their vocals to a, a song, an EDM song or something. I like the silhouette with the arms going behind. That's cool. That's really cool. Yeah, vocal bridge time. Wait, I hold on. I need to check. I need to. I don't remember her name off the top of my head. Aki. Aki is the one who I think looks absolutely incredible in this video. I love this choreo with the arms behind. I know that's uh, Shinya in front. Uh, the tracing the heart. This is fun. Yo. 
This is just like a nice high energy kind of open EDM song. Good solid vocals lent to it. The like Neon City CG visualizers in the back on the screens. Nice! I mean, they're, look, they're all gorgeous. The choreo, like I said, was pretty interesting and notable. Um, I like... It, it's obviously, it's like, it's a simple kind of setup for the MV. Like, the most expensive part of the MV was probably keying those, I'm assuming, green screen, mirror screen things behind them to have the CG graphics that they purchased or made. Um, so I'm assuming that's the most expensive part of this. Um, other than, like, the lighting and the style, you know, the stylus and the space and everything like that. Um, so it's, like, it's simple, but I think for the type of choreo they have and how they use the lighting on and off, I think it works really well. Like, this is less... I'll be interested to see if the other MV feels like it has a similar budget to this. Or if maybe because they do two MVs, this one is almost more like a performance MV. Because this could easily be a performance MV, right? From like a bigger group where it shows the dancing almost the whole time. Just the cool lighting tricks basically make it different. Uh, yeah, Aki is gorgeous though. I mean, she definitely stands out to me in this video. Definitely. It's a place that it's a it's a pretty choreo. And like I said, the the my favorite part of this video is just the the silhouette choreo stuff. With the arms. Anytime there's arms behind each other in a line, I'm a big fan. This this right here, big fan of that. That's cool. Like the kind of like domino wave effect of it. That's dope. This drop is nice though. I would absolutely listen to this. Let me see if they're on Spotify. See if I can find. Yeah, giddy up. Here we go. Yeah, absolutely. Put that in the rotation, too. That's a good song. That's a really good first major song. All right. Hey, we're one for one, man. I like this. I like this quite a bit. So, moving on to salute. Like I said, I'm curious if it feels like the budget is comparable or if it feels higher budget. Um, obviously, their ANS is not a giant company, <laughs> um, so I, you know, I wouldn't expect a giant budget. But I'm just curious if this also feels kind of like a performance video or if it's a little bit different. So, yeah, let's check out salute. I'm also curious if it's also EDM. Focus. Yeah, see, this has already more shots in it. This feels like the main MV, and the other one feels more like a performance MV. Already from the first five seconds, this video feels like this is the main video or whatever. In my opinion. Oh. Oh, that whistle. Oh. oh, her voice. Da, 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 da. I really like that line, that descending line. This video definitely had a higher budget. 100%. More shots, more locations. The vocals! This is a really pretty float. That's such a pretty transition. Oh, dude. Let's go! To be honest. Okay. 
song. Yeah. Ooh, I like that there's new material. New material, new material, new material, not the same repeated. Yes, yes, yes. Especially in the song that from a lower, uh, you know, from a, a Nugu group. Yes, 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 new material. The first time is just solid. And the second time there's this added harmony that solid added on top of it. It's like a laser cage is cool. Um, Billy did that for Ring X Ring too. Okay. Ooh. Yo, these fits, man. These leather fits are unreal. <laughs> they are unreal. I'm always a sucker for the black leather, though. I'm the mid riff, so. Ugh. Interesting second vocal line there. Da -da -da -da. Instead of just the falling line. Ooh, on those. Ooh, dude, this is dope. This is actually great. More silhouette stuff. That's Shinye, right? That's Shinye's voice. I'm assuming. From this picture, and how, just, I can only tell because of the size of her eyes. I'm pretty sure that's Shinye. And Ketchy's main wall voice, so. Ooh, that stare. Ooh. Somebody throwing that line in the back. Ow! This is really, like, from a lighting perspective, and from a vocals perspective, and from an instrumental perspective, and from a visuals perspective, and from a, like, a styling perspective. Like, this is all really, really well done. The production's really good. The mixing and engineering is really good. Um, this is, this is really good. It's, like, really good. Cool, cool over-the-shoulder shot or beyond jumps through. I love the super fake plastic revolver. Ooh, the hair flip, dude. I am... I... 100%, I... Like I, like I said, it's unfair because I came into the group already pretty beyond the touch, but... Like... Part of me says I would have been beyond biased anyway. Because look at her. <laughs> I'm so happy they sang harmony there. I'm so happy because I, I started to get nervous. You probably saw my demeanor change. I started to get nervous. I started to go, uh oh, hey, hey, hey. We're going into a hey. And oftentimes these sections are repetitive. There's weird stuff going on with the vocals. It's basically just like, hey, it feels like lazy songwriting, not enough interesting. Like, oftentimes a section like this will make me skip a song that I liked before that. So the fact that immediately there's harmonies on the second hey is really, really, really dope to me. Like, I started getting nervous right here. Yeah, the fact that there's harmonies on the woe, awesome. Awesome. Makes it sound so much better. 
than it would otherwise. Oof, the drop down into the salute. That's so dope. That's such a cool way to end this. That's such a cool way to end that with the silhouettes of saluting. Dude, they're dope. They're really cool. What was the Majors fandom? Yo. About to become the most valuable player. About to become an MVP, man. This is great. I, I might even like this more. This feels more like a K-pop title track to me. And Giddy Up feels more like a B-side. But apparently they just have two of them and they dropped them at the same time and there's no other B-sides as far as I'm aware. So, um, yeah, I mean, that one is also a yes, also of the rotation. This song feels more, um, it feels more traditional in its structure in terms of being a K-pop song. Whereas Giddy Up very much just sounds like an EDM, an open EDM song with female vocalists that happen to be... K-pop idols in this case, but you know, and you, normally you would just hire a female vocalist um, to sing a demo for you or whatever, and then you'd play with that sample. It, it kind of sounds just like an EDM song first and a K-pop song second, whereas this is a K-pop song inspired by EDM, much like a lot of K-pop songs are now. Um, at least that's my read on it. Let me know if you disagree. Um, but this this is really good, man. <laughs> This is really good. And they're obviously all just stunning. <laughs> stunning. The styling, super deadly, man. All the legs, all the midriff. Dude, they're just, they're sexy, they're badass, they know it. They deliver it. The charisma, the stares, the dancing. All of it feels very, very badass, very empowered very in control, I guess. Um, let me know if this is Shinye. I'm like pretty sure it is. I love her voice. Um, but yeah, this is dope. This is dope. As a first outing for me with the majors, I, I'm in, man. This is, this is cool. <laughs> the, like both songs were good. Um, like I said, it's, look, it's, it be honest why I came here, but uh, now, Next time they have a comeback, I'll be here because the songs were really good and the videos were really cool. Um, and also because Beyond. <laughs> but, but, but not just that. Um, everyone killed it. Everyone killed it. They all look great, sound great, great song, cool videos. Like, that's what, I, that's what I'm here for, man. <laughs> that's, why, that's why I'm here. Um, and yeah, like, yeah, I'm also here to simp, though. Like, let's be real, I'm also here to simp. Um, yeah, thank you so much for watching. Um, let me know if I got anything vastly wrong, um, or anything like that. Uh, but, uh, let me know if there's other major songs that are worth checking out. I know with Nugu, sometimes the quality, I mean, it's possible I came in lucky and the quality of these two songs is much higher than average, or maybe the other songs had engineering or, uh, like mixing issues and stuff. Let me know. If there's another major song that is this quality in terms of engineering and stuff, uh, let me know what it is, and I'll react to that or those as well. Um, thank you so much for watching. My name is The Newbie Warrior. I hope you have a lovely rest of your day. Uh, I'm a Beyond Simp, and uh, please remember to stay newbie. Thank you so much to everyone who's chosen to support me this month on Patreon with special appreciation going to Sosko Reacts, Jalen Raybon, Gyoti Sharma, Muse Ribbons, 42 Ariadna, Atsushi Ray H, Wookbook, Daniel Reigns, Mushroomy, and Lucky7Gen.